there's a great many artists like myself uh, if they get really really sort of you know mega mega stressed then uh, the quality of the work goes down a bit um, that's because you need to be more in touch with your feelings and stuff um, to be an artist if you're going to put your heart and your soul into something uh, you've got to make sure um, that you're in the right place emotionally and psychologically so if you're having a bad day uh, or you've basically drunk too much or something you might not be in the right place and you don't really want that you know mentally ill edge to your work it works for some people but as a rule no it can get a bit scary what I do at times like that is I go and I make a model or an animation just something stupid the famous one was a uh, fence post uh, earlier on in the year um, I think I did a house brick last year just pointless things they're not meant to impress anybody they're only meant just to fill in a bit of time while my brain gets itself in the right place again um, and this time because I'm a bit of a fan of Doctor Who I'm not like one of these nuts you know that goes on dressed like Tom Baker no I just like you know, it was a TV show I've been watching this since I was a kid uh, I made a TARDIS did a basic poly model thing I thought well I've been going through a hard surface thing at the moment in ZBrush um, and I thought I wonder if it's possible uh, so I sat there and I modelled a TARDIS in it so it like 20 minutes you know from a basically glorified cube um, and it turned out alright so I thought you know I've got to do a turntable of this and try it and I made it so I came up with this idea because when you do the um, the turntables in ZBrush there's no way of getting the alpha rolled in with the QuickTime file I had to think of a workaround my, now my workaround was simply uh, make the document background like bright green like a green screen uh, then when I import an After Effects I could use the green to pull a mat with key light um, make it look nicer on the edges and stuff uh, do a bit of colour correcting if it was needed add a background uh, add a bit of animation for you know zoom make this bigger and smaller make loads of zooming in and out and stuff um, and add the Doctor Who music which is done by uh, I can't remember the bloke's name uh, it was a remix that a guy did by mixing the old Tom Baker style theme tune played at exactly the same speed cued in with the modern one and surprisingly it works it fits perfectly they could have been wrote together so I had to put that in and I just put it on Zebra Center and uh, sub day in places you know just as a laugh it was meant to give those English guys that uh, you know, know of Doctor Who a bit of a smile that was all uh, I got a lot of emails, a lot of lot of supportive comments. Actually, I was quite shocked. I expected to get uh, ripped a new arsehole for even de daring to do it. To be honest, but uh, I was quite surprised last night, this morning, at some of the comments. But uh, yeah, so that's, you know, something to do with this sort of thing. I have got my eye on doing sort of Davros and Sontarians and things like that at some point. But um, I've I've had a thought for a diorama I want to do um, to do with Doctor Who. It's a personal project, you know, but it's rather big and rather complex. Um, so I've got to make sure that it's not going to be one of these I get halfway through and then think oh bugger this for a game of soldiers I'll do something else it's got to be a commitment that I've got the time to do if I don't have it because I can't because it's going to be around Doctor Who it's not something I can do as an article you see or a DVD or anything like that because I'll have to go and get permission from the BBC and uh, other people who own rights of other parts of Doctor Who visuals and stuff before I could even dare do it and I'd probably make no money and it costs about five grand for every disc I sold so it basically I'd either have to do something free um, or just do it for my own personal use so I'm not quite sure I've had some requests of late to um, do some sort of a specular map workflow in ZBrush I am working on one uh, I've got an idea up here at the moment I haven't had a chance to sit down and fiddle around because a lot of these ideas you've got to come up with them the ideas first uh, and work it work it out uh, all the theory behind it, the science behind it before you get anywhere near ZBrush. Forget it exists until you've got the science sorted out. It makes life a whole lot easier than just pressing random buttons and hoping something works. So we are work anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what I've done this week, and it's been all right. And now I've got what, another four hours till Kane gets back. Yes, <laughs> I might actually get some time to play my guitar. Play the guitar, you know. I mean playing since what it's about eight. My cousin Nigel, he was sixteen at the time, had this lovely friend of Strat, he used to come along and look after us when my parents went out for a drink. And of course, as he was a guitar player at the time, now plays piano. Excellent piano player. 
um, he used to teach me stuff and I sort of had a bit of talent for the guitar so uh, I started playing and I ended up you know teaching other people to play guitar uh, professionally right way up to grade 8 and beyond there's a lot of guys I taught that are now in uh, bands that are uh, verging on well known and stuff but uh, another part of my life I've got about I'm not quite sure how many albums worth of songs I've wrote and recorded myself I don't send them out to record companies, never have done, because in my view, the world has enough mediocre music without me bloody contributing to it. Uh, it's only the last week I've actually put them on my site, uh, up to Len, they weren't, they were just kept safely on the, sort of like the, the server, and I'd only let people that I respected or thought a lot about listen to them. Because, um, you know, not really of interest to the majority of people, but they're there for those that are. Just go to dash dot slash www dot dash dot slash all one word dot net. Go to the blog, little tiny thing on the side of there that says my music, just go and have a look at that. Or don't. You might want to, you might not want to. But don't complain to me because some of them, uh, if the quality's a little bit bad, that's because the early ones recorded an old 4 track. Um, and the later ones, I think the, the earliest, the, the latest set of ones was about 5 or 6 years ago. The earliest ones were about, was it 12 or 15? You know, somewhere like that, but it's all over. But I haven't done anything recent because I haven't got the time. Uh, we'll do one day. Besides, the bass guitar I had belonged to my brother, and even though he's not playing it, he decided that uh, having it for that many years was taking the wee wee a bit. So um, that was a long lend, and he took it back, and I've never got around to buy another one. So we're all gear minus the bass guitar. Well, there you go. Another rattle on session, which I'll probably have to edit this to hell and split into 60 billion million zits. Zits? Zits? Ooh, Freudian slip. Yeah, I've got a zit there. It's embarrassing, you know, 36 year old, and I get a zit. You know, it was because a little midgy fly or something landed there and went and decided to take a lump out of me. I don't know what the hell it did, but it came up with this massive, huge zit. It was like something out of a horror movie. Uh, so that's why there was a bit of gaps since the last podcast. There's no way I'm coming on here with a big zit. But it is rather embarrassing, 36 in a zit. You know what I mean? Happens to all of us. Anyway, I want to get going because I haven't got anything to drink here. I need a cup of coffee. I need caffeine. Uh-huh. Oh, that, that's cut by the way. I hope you're near. That's the other half. No, a better half. Apparently, I'm the better half. I <laughs> see the bloody worst, but <laughs> right, I'm going to leave it at that.